Hello, everyone. It's Scott Somabel coming to you live from Oahu. It is April 27, 2015. It's 8.32 in the morning. We're talking about the new sale, and I'm going to check my notes. See, I don't... I have notes and I want to make sure that I'm giving you everything that I have uh, have explained because it's about to rain and I want to get this done before it rains and get all soaked so you, you have to understand that a lot of things have changed in sales and you know it used to be a big deal to say I'm a one sit closer and for some industries that's still the case but for a lot of industries it's not and what you have to understand is people don't want to ever feel like they're being manipulated and somebody who feels like they're being manipulated they're gonna get butterflies in their stomach like right here or like they're gonna get butterflies in their head about you know freaking out of what's going on because they feel like they're being pushed into something and people understand that there's always another deal there's always another another project there's always another person who could deliver what they need to have done and so what happens is you know you get a lot of people with the old school sales mentality that I have to close it today and there are some people who drag their feet now this is one of the toughest this was one of the toughest personalities for me to, to deal with and learn how to get past as a salesperson and to persuade them into moving forward and it does take a lot more effort to get people to, to get stuff done I was on Facebook the other day and it was talking about statistics about how many salespeople follow up and and how many people make a call and it was saying that the average call has made it like the seventh or eighth opportunity and there's a lot of salespeople out there who go out there they try to do a one state close things blow up and they don't ever get anywhere and then they don't understand why they're not selling there's some buyers who like to just drag their feet like they like to drag an anchor I've got an uncle that no matter what the deal is, no matter what the offer is, no matter how awesome it is, no matter how cool it is, he's gonna drag his feet and it's not gonna get done today. It's just, it's not gonna happen. No matter how cool it is. And dealing with, with someone like him, and it's not a bad thing, it's just a buyer's personality. I wanna point out, if that's the type of buyer you are, that's not a bad thing. It's just like, you know, I like chocolate and I like ice cream and you may like cake. It's just a little bit different difference between what's going on. And so as you're taking a look and you're dealing with people, what you have to understand is, you may have to come back and that's part of the way that the new sale is and if you're not dealing with that and you're not being patient your your lack of patience is going to cause you to lose that sale so understand that part of the new sale is to be patient with people and to understand what's going on now i'm not saying look over here's normal over here's crazy town there is a certain amount and a certain level of pushing that you have to do that's part of the sales process and understand that for some people that's uncomfortable and for some salespeople that's uncomfortable i'm not saying go nuts i'm not saying go crazy that would be silly i'm saying but it does require just a little bit of push a little bit of push to get people to move forward. not a lot a little bit for them to move forward so be patient with people explain them what's going on so part of the new sales to be patient to to take your time because you know as people are starting to make decisions it's not as fast as it used to be okay so take your time, work with it, and understand that the new sale, a lot of stuff has changed. Old sales is 50 years old. We should throw out a birthday cake, blow out the cake. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a, a, a party for the old, old sale. I'm gonna invite a bunch of salespeople I know, and I'll get it on video for you. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there is a subscribe button. Subscribe, and then send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Scott Bell. Only Scott Bell, Summonal, coming to you live from Oahu. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, aloha.